Roadster VIN number 1459 has been trickle charging all weekend and uh, it looks like we were successful in getting the voltage up to a level where this morning we're going to be able to wake up the car and we'll do that in just a moment here. The first thing we're going to need to do is disconnect the DC power supply which has been trickling in voltage to bring it up to a certain level. Then we're going to put the service plug back into the car. It takes about a minute or so, a couple of minutes, and the Roadster will begin to wake up. We'll see the uh, VDS screen light up again, and we're going to be able to talk to the car. What we'll do then is we'll hook the laptop into the DC bus, and we'll start looking at each of the sheets and bricks to see what the condition is of those sheets after being trickle charged. What we're hoping for, of course, is that we have a healthy battery pack after this recovery and that we won't have to do a battery pull, which takes us to level two, which is far more intrusive and more time consuming. And if we have to go that route, we'll have to pull sheets out of this pack and actually do repairs down to the cell level. We have disconnected the power supply from this ESS battery pack on the Roadster. Um, we are now going to allow the car to wake up, but first we have to put in the service plug to reactivate the ESS pack battery. The service plug has been placed back into the ESS pack. What we're going to do now is the car will begin to wake up. We're going to attempt to do a charge port door charge. And what you'll see inside is the VDS screen will begin to um, beep and then illuminate. And what we're doing now is putting a laptop into the passenger floorboard, which will be connected to the car, and it will give us all kinds of data about the condition of the battery after this recovery charge. The pumps have just turned on. We've got our first initial beep, and the car is waking up. We've got a screen. What we're finding is the car now has woken back up. It's beginning to give us information about the ESS battery pack. And unfortunately, we found that uh, brick number 72 is sitting at zero volts. So we definitely have a problem in one of the sheets. So what we're doing now is we are pulling a log file. It's getting recorded onto a memory stick. That will give us data as to what's going on underneath the hood beyond what that little VDS screen is telling us. This car will definitely now need a level two battery recovery, which is comparable to that uh, uh, radiant red roadster that's up on that lift there. If we didn't have a dead brick in this ESS pack, what we would now be able to do after a recovery, level one recovery, is open this charge port door and use our roadster charge cable. The first thing that happens when you open a charge port door on a roadster is you get that uh, light ring. We will now plug in and we're not expecting this to charge but I'll go through the motions here to show you what would normally happen. It will go blue. It will then uh, do some pre-charge uh, sequences and if we're successful this would start blinking amber. This will most likely go red or just simply go off. Thanks for watching this two-part series on recovering a roadster that has been bricked. Um, feel free to continue to watch our YouTube channel. We're going to be posting cool stuff like this continuously. And uh, subscribe. Thank you.